Hi, I'm Gavin, and welcome to The Coffee Conspiracies. Today we're still in Oxford, and we're looking at the last of the three uh, property types that I'm going to concentrate on during this series, and that's an industrial site. In the previous two episodes, I looked at retail and office space. Office space is not usually associated with being too uh, location-specific. Retail obviously is, and industrial has its own location-specific requirements. Anyone starting an industrial business is usually interested in access more than anything else. How do you get raw materials in, products out, um, if you're doing car repairs, if you're doing machine works, things need to come in physically and things need to leave. You either need rail or road access, um, or you know possibly in the future drones. Right now, um, if you want to be close to a city, you're frequently going to be stuck with difficult issues around access uh, at rush hour. But if you're outside a city, obviously it becomes more difficult for staff to get in and out. So looking at Oxford um, and looking at the Ring Road again, uh, you'll see again the Ring Road. And I've looked here at uh, West Oxford, um, where we're going to be looking at our site today. There's the railway line. And right here, just uh, very close to the Ring Road with access out to the highway, both to Bristol in that way and the north and south this way, we have a small uh, semi-industrial area here in West Oxford. This is the street in front of the industrial site. There's a whole series of warehouses within the complex of various sizes, and most of them are occupied, uh, despite what the sign outside says. There is a lot of uh, good access in, but you can see that many of these uh, businesses here also do direct sales to the public. That doesn't necessarily mean general public, it's trade business which means that there's not a lot of parking there. There's a lot of people squeezed in between the buildings here. It's quite an elderly site, um, but obviously as far as uh, engineering works is concerned, um, appearance isn't necessarily the most important thing for, for customers. Uh, you can see there's been access there for some of the bigger trucks that have come in to collect things. And uh, a few of these sites are are closed up and there may be more sites coming available. I'm not too sure about how much this is being used. And obviously the most important thing, um, there appears to be some sort of social life going on here with uh, brewery and tap room at the back. Uh, good luck to you. Returning to the map, we're uh, going to look a little bit more closely at the properties here. So firstly the area again, just looking at the general economic profile. Oxford has a population 157,000, median income about 25,000, and uh, a fairly um, large commuter group that move in and out of, of Oxford outwards. Obviously the slightly lower employment rate is as a result of the large student population. In terms of industrial activity, um, we're looking at a large number of factories and small industrial places, and you can see the sort of margins that we're getting here. Looking at this particular industrial estate, you can see there's a fair number of properties in that area. And the property that we're looking at in there is Unit 3. Now, you can see this is a 200, and, uh, 200 square meters site. Originally, it was used by a bakery. Uh, it's listed as occupied, but obviously it's, this hasn't been updated by the local authority, so it's, it's still listed in that way. And um, it's been used to produce food. Uh, I would assume that uh, that means that it would be easy if you uh, were going to produce some sort of food product. Some of the uh, the hygiene requirements might already have been met for the site. <clears throat> the 16,000 current rental valuation is out of date. Uh, the valuations office have let me know that these these pricings were fixed at in 2015. The current advertised rate for this particular series of properties is £9 per square foot, which is about £100 per square meter. Um, and there are two uh, different sites available within this complex. What that would mean is that you'd be likely to see this being advertised for about 20000 which is not massively different from where it is now in comparison to some of the other sites we looked at in Oxford. The profit margin on, on manufacturing we're listing here is about 11% and about a million pounds uh, estimated for break even. So if we're looking at, uh, at industrial in Oxford, and uh, this particular location seems to be fairly good, um, obviously industrial is one of those things where 
it's relatively straightforward to look elsewhere in the country. You don't need to be specifically in Oxford unless you're planning to sell in Oxford. If your business, uh, if your sales are quite widespread, then you could potentially look for cheaper uh, and better quality uh, space elsewhere. And so this becomes just a benchmark for us to have a look elsewhere in the country as, as, as I go into further episodes. So hopefully this was interesting. Um, and thank you once again for, for staying with me for this. And uh, I'll see you again next time.